everyone, this is KitKat and today I'm going to be showing you through my A-level coursework Unit 1 book. The last time I made a video, it was a long time ago, and I would just finished my GCSEs, and now I'm halfway through A-level. So, it's it's not a huge jump, but it's, <laughs> it's difficult to get used to once you get into A-level, but um, I, I'm sure I'll be uploading more videos after this one, uh, hopefully. So this is my first page, it starts off with a uh, mind map. Uh, the topic was memories and so I have lots of little links coming off of here. Uh, there's This is acetate here and there's my pictures from just things that relate to memories um, personally and yeah that's about it just loads of things that relate to memories this is Marilyn Manson page uh, I really liked some of his watercolor work and so I decided to make him one of my artists to base some of my work off uh, this page is my artist interpretations this is a printed out image of Marilyn Manson's work and this is a um, copy, a uh, watercolour copy of his work. It's the same down here and over here as well. This one doesn't look exactly the same unlike these two-ish. However, I, I just wanted to, you know, experiment with watercolour technique and stuff. Over here I have uh, I've done a few watercolour paintings of uh, more things that relate to memories, so my mum and me when I was little, a snowman and me when I was little, my mum and my sister going upstairs. Uh, <laughs> there's a little post it note on there that says uh, more de detail, so that's a little bit of um, uh, an improvement that I need to do already, but that's a painting, a watercolor painting, even. Here I practiced with some layering. Uh, so if you look on this side, there's a few images of that relate to memories and there's just the different compositions and on this page there's a big version. And I've scratched into acetate, printed onto acetate, I've done loads of um, tracing paper stuff. Uh, there's a watercolour painting actually underneath here as well, so that's pretty cool. Here is Gustav Klimt. I didn't really like him, but he related to my work, so I had to interpret him. So that's his uh, information page. Some of my interpretations. And here I'd actually draw. This is. <laughs> I don't think I have a picture of um, my painting here, but I painted on the wall the big, a big version of this in acrylic. Uh, and then I used a projector to do loads and loads of lines over my body here. Uh, oh yeah, here I've just drawn over some images, trying to practice with just compositions and things like that. Did I skip a page? Maybe? No, no I didn't, okay. Uh, yeah, more Photoshop interpretations and photo interpretations. So, using Photoshop. Here's a uh, painting with. Uh, I've gone over it with Biro to define it a bit more, make it a bit more detailed. Some development of ideas, which I'm not going to read through because it'll bore everyone to death. This is just a page on more sort of developing my idea so I've got a little picture down there but <laughs> here's some cute spiders um, this is my page on spider webs um, because I, at this point I wanted to look into consciousness and how the uh, memories affect the consciousness but this, that's that's way too deep and I'm not going to go into explaining it because it, <laughs> it sounds really stupid um, so yeah, just making cobwebs and things like that, and I made a giant cobweb on a wall uh, in the studio that we get. 
here is a page on the bowerbird. That's a painting there with twigs and pieces of rubbish stuck to the page. Um, some information, an information booklet with another drawing on it. Here I've got the bowerbird nests and I made my own. So there's some, and then I drew them here. Uh, the next page is on Sarah Lucas, uh, who's an artist that I really like personally. I think some of her work has a really good um, atmosphere to it, I guess. I don't know, it's just something about it that I like. It is a penis. I, I'm not going to lie and try to make out that it's not. It is a penis. She did penis sculptures at some point, so... Um, yeah, some Sarah Lucas interpretation with the photography and things like that and trying to get the same um, atmosphere in my photographs. Uh, Nick Gentry, wh who did... Um, oh, uh, he did paintings on floppy disks, I think. And they just look really, really cool, so... I, I, I like that effect and I tried to carry it forward. This one doesn't look the best but it soon gets better, like on this page. It's quite a lot of detail and this one as well, which is on tracing paper. So behind it, it's got all the memories and stuff, which looks quite cool. This is uh, some work, that th another artist interpretation of John Sushi, who made like 3D stuff. So I made all the panels on here 3D. It's all on um, can you see that? It's uh, all on cardboard to make it 3D. Uh, so I made my own images 3D as well, and brought them forward in order of depth of field. So that was really cool. Here's my purple page. Uh, I've got some further development, trying out to draw things with only one color, which was difficult. But I've just left it at that for a while. And here's some more development, and I, I really like that at the minute. I've got my final piece, which I've already started at school, so I'm just adding bits and bobs to my coursework at the minute. But that is it for now. Um, it's not much, and I haven't uploaded much, but I have just been, I've just had a lot of coursework at the minute. <laughs> Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you next time.